Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode one of the Bartender series. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Ooh, that's really nice ice. That ASMR, like, oof. Oh, that look good. It's probably gin. See, okay, here's the thing. I'm not a big, big drinker, of course, because you know, duh. Um, but I am of age that I can drink as much as I want. But I live with... <laughs> <laughs> my, okay, so here's the thing. My mom, my mom loves making um, types of drinks for like parties and such. There is this one drink that I've I've made with her. I've made it with her since like either middle school or high school, and I literally can make that ish in my sleep. And I've seen people drink it. The things that I have seen people do, <laughs> I will never drink that. <laughs> I will never drink it. It's a fruit punch type of drink. And I will never drink that shit. I'll be like, mm, -mm. I, I see what that shit does to people. I'm good. But I do love me. I love me some wine. Um, I have, like, the last, like, the a signature drink that I've had, shot-wise, is a buttery nipple. That's it. Other than that, I haven't had, like, a really good... I would love to try a gin and tonic. I've heard those are good. About to be like 12 freaking weeks talking about alcohol. <laughs> it's really pretty. Oh. And there goes my puppy. <laughs> oh, that look good. You see the cloudiness of it? Right? Damn. Do you know how to make that? You always have to be prepared. The charm is not always going to work. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, we get, that's what us women want. We want to flirt with a guy while we at the bar, damn. You know, he could just be walking right in front of you. Maybe. I'm hungry, too. I mean, 
You, you want to know how many naps I took today? I took too many fucking naps today. Too many. Right? You think he would just be satisfied with a good ass bartender? You don't know how your phone works? Hmm. Slide. Slide. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, I mean, there's your glass of God. already gone. Is this contact info on there? Basically, almost I'm guessing someone who's like hella exceptional. Right? This is bullshit. Unfortunately. But how? <sighs> what the Ooh, pretty. That had to be one of those, like, because it looked like a sunset. Oh my God. <sighs> Not good. See, I've never had a martini. Look at he is just so fine. Like that's what I want. I want to drink. Oh god damn it, please. Like damn. Mm. No. Like who? Uh. I, I mean, but do you even know how to make any good drinks besides beer? With beer, you're just pouring. Oh, it's him!
Mm-hmm. Right, right. This is your chance, girl. Don't waste it. Ask him. Just ask him. No. D oh, my God. You're going to miss on this chance. Girl. It's a cute dress. Gonna go all the way there. But how can you be so sure that, the, like, he's really legit? <laughs> I know. Sweet I It's very classy. <laughs> mm-hmm. The fact that that is him, but his voice just goes, like, a little deeper. Bye. Like, who is his? Say you. Oh, we need to know. Research, please. Right. He has a different aura here. Sarah, can you make a sex on a beach? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Once again, a sex on beach. Well, I mean, you're not going to know until you try, so. And he knows how to do it in a style, too. Damn. Damn. That's a win. Then what's something that's lighter than a martini? Damn. 
empty ASMR shaking. Oh my god. It make me want to. No, no, no. He needs to do this. Regardless, bartenders have to be prepared for this, like, on the fly. Isn't that the drink that she... Yeah! Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's gonna be a lot better than the one that she had. Just try it! Try it! It might be good! No, you're not. Yeah, good aiming. Mm. And it's not too strong. It's exactly what you need right now. That's a good question. Yeah, he's not using the certain type of ice that Homeboy was using. He would, he went and just cracked that bitch up. Like, thank you, sir. Thank you.
that's someone who knows they shit, they know they craft, and they're they better themselves every single day. See, that's the biggest question. But he's already working at another bar, so how can he work at two different places at the same time? Guess that used to be a bar, and then something happened. Okay, so first initial thoughts, like this is really good. I, I mean, there there is somewhat of a story on this. I didn't think it was gonna be because, like, okay, let me let me talk about some of the other alcohol basic animes that have come out in the last couple of years. One of them is my personal favorite. It started a girl who was moving home um, away from home, and. She was starting college. I don't remember the name of it, but I, I reacted to the whole series. But it, the sad thing about that, it wasn't like a 23 episode or 23 minute series. It was like a 15 minute series and such. And so you, they packed a lot into it. But she moves away from home. She meets, like, a group. She has a friend already in college, so she moves in with her, her other friends and stuff. And so every single week, they're pairing alcohol with certain foods. And it's, like, literally the best thing on earth. Um, all I remember, it started with a T, and they did a dub for the show. And I went to buy the Blu-ray because I love the shit out of it. And with that show, I was like, oh, my God, this is, like, a drinking buddy show. Um, and you get to learn, like, oh, hey, like, pair this with this, or pair this with that, and I really loved it. Now, with, damn it, my pen, um, with this, this is a lot different. We're going more into, like, everything for it. I think we're going to see a very different sign of alcohol or just bartending in a nutshell. I do love the fact that he made the highball for her. Indicating that, yes, she's super stressed out on finding someone who was supposed to be the glass of God, the, the holiness of holiness, the top of the top, the creme de la creme. And it is literally taking her out. The fact that he also made a Cosmo for her co-worker was just top tier. The fact that he knows certain things. he He's the top contender on, like, Okay, we need to get this man, like, ASAP. We need to have this man hired. He needs to work with us. I don't care what the heck, how much money you throw at him, give it to him. That's it. But with his story, it may be why he returned to Japan, because he went over to somewhere that has, like, the, this gate or this bar wall on it and such. Like I said, I'm guessing that is or that used to be a store or a, or a bar that possibly, you know, got set ablaze or something due to some weird reason or stuff. And it seems like he has a very tragic past. And so what I'm hoping is, with everything that we're learning about, you know, like new drinks and everything every single week and such, is that we also do get a deep dive on him because he is a very mysterious character. Everybody, I think, in this series, as of episode one, is very mysterious. But our main bartender 
he is the most one. When you think about bartenders in a nutshell, and especially going into a bar and such, um, or just anywhere, when you're going into one, and I can only speak for this as someone who was around my age. I can't, you know, I hope no freaking 16, 17-year-old is watching this. Like, I, I say, yeah, you can watch it, but please don't go out and drink. No underage drinking. Drink when you're 21, please, and thank you. Um... What some people like to do, especially when it is a bartender and you're a customer and you're coming into their bar and such, um, that is sometimes, like, it's typically, it could be any any day of the week, where you're going in, you have a drink, you're comfortable, you relax and stuff, and you're kind of laying all your shit out to them, and, you know, that stress that you've been through for the whole freaking week, you're like, I gotta let this out to somebody. And, you know, they listen. They, you know, sometimes will give you um, their opinions and, you know, saying like, oh, hey, maybe next time do this and that. And I love that. And I hope we do get to see something like that. But once again, also, the fact that he knew how to make a cr- the grasshopper in the particular style that um, their boss wanted and he got done within 30 seconds... Once again, go get that effort. <laughs> like, seriously. Now, I, I would love, like I said, as someone who has not had, like, a sex on a beach or any other of these drinks, like, I've never even had, had a Cosmo, but that looked good. I would dead ass try me a Cosmo, like, ASAP um, and such. I, I'm someone who likes more sweet, fruity-esque, sugary, alcohol-type drinks rather than, like, something like, um that is hard and strong. Now, I can, I can drink me some strong ass liquor. I have, I have not gotten like drunk, drunk, drunk since my 21st birthday and such, which is still crazy to think about because I'll be 35 this year and I'll be 10 years. Um, but any time when you are drinking liquor, make sure you pace yourself. You always have a limit to what you're drinking and how much you're going to drink. Don't drink too much and stuff. And if you do get drunk, Call an Uber. Do not try to walk home. Do not even try to drive home yourself, especially if you drove. Call a Uber. Call a motherfucking Uber. Get your ass home. Go to sleep. Lock your doors. And then if you have to the next day, walk back to the bar with your keys or take another Uber again. Get your keys and then go home and live out your day for the rest of your life. Because we don't need anything happening to people. So always be mindful on how much you drink. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode one of Bartender Glass of God. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.